Get your heathen behinds down to the church this Sunday and get your Jesus on with Pastor Wright. All right, let's see what the congregation brought me. What is this? This ain't nothing but Tyler. Shame on. All right, we got some little money for the strippers. Cool, cool. Let's see now, one for me, one for Jesus. All right, two for me, two for Jesus. All right, all right. Me, oh, hold on now, hold on. Uh, come in. All right, Sister Tasha, how you doing, dear? Hey, Pastor. All right, please close the door behind you and lock it. Thank you. Why haven't you called me? Now, Tasha, come on now. We've already gone over this. You know I'm a busy man. I am the pastor of this empire. You know I'm married. I got a first lady. I got a side piece. You are just the leader of the usher board. You're going to have to play your role, Miss Lady. Now, can we get to that understand? Are you okay? How are you doing? I'm fine. Come here. Come here, Tasha. All right. You're doing all right. You're looking good. Just as fine as ever. Thank you, Pastor. All right. What's on your mind? Well, our son needs money for a field trip. Now, stop. I told you that's not my son. Why don't even... Girl, you was pregnant when you joined the church. You know that's not my boy. Now, I try to help you and little whatchamacallit out when I can, but you know he's not mine. So he got a field trip. What? How much do you need? Two fifty. Two fifty. Where they going? Vegas? Come on now. Two fifty. Ooh, you lucky, you cute. You know what? You know I don't have two fifty, but you in luck today because Jesus got it. You know, I'm going to give you, matter of fact, I'm going to give you 300 out of Jesus' money today. And uh, use the extra 50, you know, get your little hair done or something. Mm, thank you, Pastor. All right, all right. I'm going to see you tonight. Now, again, you are the leader of the usher board. You know you're not going to see me tonight. Wednesday after Bible study. All right. All right, Pastor. All right, now, Sister mm -hmm. Tasha. Mm. The Lord is good all the time now let's see where was I one for me one for Jesus one for me one for Jesus brothers and sisters I want to talk to you about unfaithful heathens today see an unfaithful heathen is not a friend of God I don't think you heard me now an unfaithful heathen is not a friend of God I say look to your neighbor and say neighbor. I say, you didn't hear me, I say neighbor. We don't need no heathens in here. Amen, hallelujah. See the thing is brothers and sisters, you got to thank God, not just for the big things, but you got to thank him for the little things that matter too. I'm saying thank him just when you get up in the morning. Yes, Lord, thank him just for the ability to get on your knees and pray. I mean, you got to thank him just for the ability to get back up off your knees because some of y'all be on your knees a little too long now, hey, man. Thank him. Even when you can't go to the bathroom, when you try to just squeeze out that number two, let it out, let it out. Call on him. Call on him. Even when you're going to court. Hey, uh, hey, 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 the pool hall down the street. Oh, what you a funny guy, huh? You should be on comic view. Uh, <laughs> this is a barber shop, right? <laughs> yes, this would be a barber shop. You trying to get a cut? Man, it looks like y'all done won the lottery up in here. All these new chairs and TVs. What's going on? Yeah, yeah. What's up with all this new stuff? What, what's all this hot? Hey, look, hey, go head on with all that, bro. You gonna get a haircut or not? Why, yes. Who is your best barber? Oh, that's easy. That would be my brother Brandon. He'll cut you up. He knows right. how to people up. Now, Brother Tyler, I've been noticing you've been walking around with a lot of cash lately. I haven't seen not none of that in my collection plate. You know, the Lord know where you're holding, and he know where you're holding. Yeah, with all due respect, Pastor, my grandma was a member of your congregation, not me. <laughs> What the Lord giveth, the Lord can take it away. 
Yeah, that's true, but I know what I give him. I can't get back. I don't play with God his money. Amen to that. Yeah, God play with you. He came up shout. But I keep that in mind. The hell you do to my head, fool? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, God don't like ugly. Man, come on, Deacon Cox. Let's go super cut. Pastor Wright, what can I do for you? It's not what you can do for me, but what I can do for you. I'm listening. Well, I understand that you've been looking for something. Word around town is you misplaced a large amount of money. Something like that. Well, what if I could tell you where to find it? That'd be information I'd be interested in. Information that might get the church a sizable donation. All right. Can I offer you two a drink? Oh, I'll take anything brown on the rocks. Prez, get the man what he requested while I talk to the pastor. Sure thing. Bro. I like that prayers. We need a new first lady at the church. To the business, bro. Oh, you know Tyler and his cousin Squirt that own Sage Barbershop? Man, man they've been doing a lot of upgrades over there. I'm telling you, man, they spending money that I know they don't have. They got TVs, leather couches, candy jars, <laughs> snicker bars in the candy jars. Man, all we got to do is... Uh, Dominic and Prez just rolled up. Ooh, they about to come inside, too. 